And some coffee, but they're all like in high school. They don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Even as students all over the country and especially here in NASA are calling for action, the federal government in Washington has responded with the same inaction and complacency to protect our students and our teachers and our entire communities. The governor understands that there is nothing more important than keeping our schools and our children safe. I want to thank you to lead the way forward. Governor Cuomo has taken this opportunity fearlessly by putting students first and advancing legislation that will surely save lives. That government is the enemy and they're going to come seize guns so they have a totalitarian regime. It is, it is just uh, so far from reality it can't even be taken seriously. And say to the judge, I think you should evaluate this person and evaluate with a mental health professional. And if the evaluation says the person has a mental health issue, remove the guns from the person before the person. It is pure common sense. Brady Center did a study that said 40% of the school shootings. Thanks, guys. Wait, 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 one more. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Schools are safer, and the piece of legislation that we must all come together and support to ensure that it's passed in the legislature up in Auburn. You also will hear from our public advocate, the fearless Letitia Tis Jennings. And I said, well, that's because you hear about the new Bronx. The Bronx wasn't always the comeback story. For many years, the Bronx suffered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. Wait, look up. Look up. <laughs>